buddy. Watch your bobber right there. Scenes from Burba Lake and the Spring Youth Fishing Rodeo, the Mead Rod and Gun Club and MWR host a Spring and Fall Rodeo every year. Hello and welcome to Mead Week, I'm Brian Spann. Also this week, Fort Mead celebrates Earth Day. The Odenton Library is offering a new resource connection for military families and some important news for soldiers using tuition assistance. These stories and more, but first, the Air Force's 70th ISR wing, the Fort Mead Equal Opportunity Office and Club Mead hosted the 2023 Holocaust Remembrance Ceremony this week. This year's guest speaker was Rachel Lowe Littman. She's the granddaughter of Holocaust survivor William Lowe. On October 29th, 1944, my grandfather with other prisoners from the prison were transported to Auschwitz. It was his 19th birthday. My grandfather never shared many details about Auschwitz. It was a place of death and torture and pure evil. Out of all the loss and tragedy he endured in his life, I will always remember what he said on his liberation day many years ago. That beyond all the hardships he's faced, his life was fulfilled. After the war, Lowe worked as an interpreter for the U.S. Army. He and his family opened a vineyard in Mount Airy, Maryland in 1982. Rachel Lowe Littman represents the fifth generation of winemakers in her family. For more of her family story, watch the ceremony in its entirety on our Facebook Live page. Elsewhere, Fort Meade celebrated Earth Day this week. One of the highlights of the event was the planting of three new native trees at Burba Lake. So I gave you the plug about taking care of Fort Meade. You're going to leave here and you're going to go other places. Take the time to learn what is native. The other piece of these three trees that we're planting today are native species to the area. Why does that matter? So think about your grass and weeds. Weeds don't belong. One of the ways to kill weeds, right, is to attack it with chemicals. Not, not the greatest thing for our environment, but it's a way. Another way to get rid of the weeds is to increase and improve the growth of what should be there in the first place. Another highlight featured Fort Meade being designated as a Monarch Butterfly Way Station. So a Monarch Way Station is uh, it's a designation run by the organization Monarch Watch. Monarch Watch is run by the University of Kansas. Uh, it's a conservation organization that, you, for in exchange for a donation to their conservation efforts, if you meet habitat requirements, you can designate yourself as a Monarch Way Station. And due to the amount of shoreline pollinator plants, and particularly milkweed that we have around Burba Lake, we're able to certify ourselves as a Monarch Way Station. Guests included the Maryland Department of Natural Resources and the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. They put up displays on native plants and wildlife. Fort Meade's water services contractor, American Water, provided the refreshments. In other news, April is the month of the military child. Child and Youth Services stages an annual fun fair to highlight services available on and off post. April is also National Child Abuse Prevention Month, and the fair offered information and prevention resources. We spoke with a lead nurse specialist for the Family Advocacy Program's New Parent Support Program. We do home visiting. It's actually based on home visit model and uh, a lot of preventive stuff. So before it happens, we really want to prevent it. One of the things that we teach them is how to prevent uh, child abuse. In more local news, Fort Meade military families are a big customer base for the Odenton branch of the Anne Arundel County Library System. This week, the library opened a section dedicated to collecting and offering information for Fort Meade military families. Since we have so many uh, military families come here for programming and to, to just check out what we have here, we thought it would be a good place, a one-stop shop, where we could offer some information from places like the Veterans Administration here, um, also Veterans Workforce, uh, Blue Star Families, uh, just all of our partners we've worked with and people could get those resources right when they come in. The Military Family Resource Center just opened days before we recorded this newscast. The library will continue to add resources going forward. Meanwhile, the Education Center announced a deadline this week for soldiers with any pending tuition assistance requests for fiscal years 21 and 22. The Education Center says that TA requests cannot be processed without a signature. Soldiers need to go into their Army Ignited account at www.armyignited.army.mil to check for and sign any pending TA requests for courses already taken. Additionally, you shouldn't sign a pending request for a course not taken. The deadline is May 15th. For more information, contact the Education Center in Kuhn Hall. And that's Mead Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Mead Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a great Mead Week.